Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the third episode of my trip to Ecuador with Sherry L. Williamson and Tom Wood to find new and exciting hummingbirds to photograph. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, you can click up there. Today's adventure took us to a very famous place right outside of Mindo. It is called Refugio Paz de las Aves. It's a refuge that was started in 2005 by Angel Paz and his brother Rodrigo. His whole family were farmers and what they wanted to do was build a refuge for birders and their land just happened to have a very active lek for the Andean cock of the rock. So they cut a path to it and tourists started coming. You have to get up very early in the morning if you want to see them displaying. And that's what we did. We got up before sunrise and we were at the property by the time the sun was coming up. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of these birds displaying because William wasn't with me on this tour, but I did take an audio recording. There is some talking over it, but you can hear how loud the birds are in the background. I like to play this whenever I think Fillmore is making too much noise because he is quiet compared to these guys. Angel is also famous for another NHB. He is able to call out a giant Aunt Pitta. He named this bird Maria after his wife. And you have to understand that under ordinary circumstances, this bird is extremely difficult to observe. But Angel will go out and throw a little bit of food and call her, and she comes every time. So we were able to observe this giant and Pitta Maria. We all got into the van and were off to find some more birds, but they dropped me off at Angel's house because that's where the hummingbird feeders were, and I wanted to get a head start on photographing them. And here at his feeders, I saw for the first time the Empress Brilliant Hummingbird. This bird is gorgeous. The male has a super long tail, a little purple throat patch, and the whole bird is a brilliant green. Now, the Brilliant, like all of the other Brilliants, has these feathers that grow very far down the beak, giving the head a really elongated appearance. This is the first time I ever saw this bird. I have seen it again on a couple other trips, so I am gonna show you some video that we got in Colombia of the Empress Brilliant. We had a wonderful lunch at Refugio Paz, and then we made our way to our next destination. We drove down this long cobblestone road known as the Paseo del Quinde. Now, Quinde is Quechua for hummingbird. So Paseo del Quinde means hummingbird walk. So I had a lot of great expectations here. We arrived at the Santa Rosa Birding Lodge, and this is also known as the Birdwatcher's House. The Birdwatcher's House is owned and run by Vinicio Perez. Now he's a birding guide with 35 years experience. He has food and lodging here, and he also even has a farm for cultivating edible mushrooms. The hummingbird garden is spectacular. Vinicio says that he gets 37 different species of hummingbirds here throughout the year, including the very, very shy hoary puffleg. But one of these birds has been coming to his feeders, so this is normally a very difficult bird to find, but we got lucky coming here. The hoary puffleg is a near-threatened species found in Ecuador and Colombia. 
It's rare and rather difficult to find. This bird is considered near threatened due to their limited range and declining population. Like all the other puff legs, he does have boots, but they're not always visible under his abdominal feathers. The gorgeted sun angel has an unmistakable white band across his chest and a glittering purple-pink throat with a blue aqua patch on top of its head. It's found mostly in Ecuador, but it can also be seen in southern Colombia. The speckled hummingbird is rather plain, and he has a black cheek. The tail is dark with tannish tips at the ends of the feathers. It's found throughout the Andes from Venezuela all the way down to Chile. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into this guy again and again. We saw lots of hummingbirds here that, that I've already seen in the past, including the fawn-breasted brilliant. I love this little picture of a female fawn-breasted brilliant with the speckled hummingbird. They were both having a conversation. The violet-tailed sylph also made an appearance. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're going to Antisinia, which is where people look for condors, but I was looking for the Ecuadorian hill star. And in the afternoon to the Wango Lodge, which is a hummingbird paradise. See you next Sunday.